Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add, remove, or change swing in the rhythms that you are using with MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So you will want to have MuseScore open. And uh, as I've got it open here, you will uh, notice that I've written some eighth notes throughout. And this is so I can show you how the swing rhythm works in MuseScore. So as a reminder, if I were to go ahead and use the playback features, this will play as straight eighth notes. So now you can hear what that sounds like uh, without any swing. And so now let's say I want to add a swing to this. And swing, what that means is that the eighth notes, instead of being even like they were just now, they will be played with a dotted eighth note followed by a sixteenth note. Uh, for each pair. So let's go over to the palettes and to find swing you will go to text the text palette and then you will see there's the word swing so you will click that and then drag it to the note that you would want the swing to begin. So you can see I can drag it to any note and the note will turn blue. I want this to begin at the be at the very beginning so I'm going to let go. So again drag and drop onto the note you want it to begin and now I'm going to play this and let's see if it picks up the swing this time. Okay, so you can see it is not doing the swing yet. So I've noticed sometimes it, you need to play it through one time um, until it'll pick it up. So let me go back and see if it picks it up this time. So you can see that time it did do the swing. So um, if you add the swing and notice it didn't do the playback right away, um, you might want to reset the playback position or um, you know, let it play through once um, or near the end and then go back and, and see if it'll pick up the swing. So that time it did do the swing. And uh, so we've added swing to this piece. And so now let's say that I want to remove uh, the swing rhythm. So you can do it one of two ways. You can either just click on swing when it turns blue and then uh, uh, click on or, you know, hit the button for delete. So now we've deleted that. Let's see if it got rid of that. Okay, so you can see it's still using the swing. So let's try that again. We're going to rewind and try it again. So that time it took away the swing. So now, um, again, that, that's one way you can make sure sometimes, um, you know, when you add or delete swing, um, you might notice it, it doesn't pick up in the playback controls right away. So that's, that's normal. Um, th so the other way that you can do swing is to go up to format in the top left, format, and then do style. And then this would be for the entire piece. So if you want to have swing, you can look at format score. And then down uh, near the end of the, that page, there is a swing settings. And right now it's turned off. Let's go ahead and you can have it set to the eighth note or the 16th note. So you could swing eighth notes or 16th notes. And you can even have a swing ratio that you would, if you want it to be uh, snappier, you can change that. So let's go ahead and make this um, pretty, pretty snappy. Let's make it like 80%. Um, and now I'm going to press OK. And now it will have added swing to the piece, even though um, it's not um, listed as swing at the top. Okay, so again, it didn't pick it up yet. Let's try again. Good. So, good. So now you noticed um, that the second time it did do the swing, it did it at that 80% ratio. So it was very, very snappy. Um, it had a longer, um, you know, dotted eighth note and then a shorter 16th note. Uh, for the ratio for the two notes. And again, so those are the two ways that you can add, uh, remove, or change the swing for the pieces that you're working on. Again, the main thing that I, that I notice uh, that uh, you might have uh, trouble with is the, the playback. Just make sure that you hit that, uh, you know, if it doesn't pick it up the first time, go ahead and um, hit rewind and go back to the start and see if it'll pick up the swing the second time. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can drop them in the comments section below. I will do my best to answer those. Uh, I also have other MuseScore 3 tutorial uh, videos. Uh, I will put links to those around this video. If you got anything out of this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.